When we multiply expressions with more than one term, basically all we have to do is a bunch of little problems and keep track of what we've done and what we haven't done. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Let's distribute this 3x squared y to the third to both of the terms in the parentheses. When I multiply these two, keep in mind that that's an x to the one-th. So I'm going to multiply the numbers 3 times 5, that's 15, x to the second times x to the one-th, I add exponents, and y to the third times y to the two-th, and I get 15 x to the third y to the fifth. Now I have to add to that multiplying these two terms. Now I've got to multiply the 3 by some number. When there isn't a number there, it's 1. We don't always write 1, do we? So it's 3 times 1, and then x to the second times x to the second, we add exponents, and y to the third times as you saw before, y to the one-th, when there isn't a one there, uh, when there isn't anything there, we have a one. And the answer is 3x to the fourth, y to the fourth. Now these are unlike terms, so you have to know to stop. Now you really have to keep track of who you multiplied and who you didn't here. Let's just do one at a time. I'm going to do the 3x first, and I actually draw lines. 3x times x is 3x squared, and 3x times what I would say is negative 7, I treat that as a negative, is negative 21x. Well, now I'm done with the 3x, so I actually cross it out. Who do I have left to deal with? the 5, and it is a positive 5. So once again, let me draw lines. 5 times x is 5x. Now I'm going to write 5x underneath the negative 21x, because I know they're getting together later, if you know what I mean. And a positive 5 times a negative 7 is a negative 35, and I don't see any term that he's alike with, so I'll just write him over there. Oh, we can't finish until we've added all like terms. Adding these, I get 3x squared minus 16x, because negative 21x and positive 5x make the minus 16x. And if you don't have anything to add anything with somebody, like at the negative 35, just write the negative 35. And there is your answer. Here's a screwy one. We actually can't do it. People would say, well, I'm just going to distribute the 2 to the 3x and the minus 5. But remember, the distributive property is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. That 2 is not being multiplied. It's an exponent. It's exponenting. So in this form, we really can't distribute the 2. What we can do is do what the 2 means, is write it twice. Well, now we can multiply. Let's do a little bit at a time. Take care of the 3x. I get 9x squared. 3x times minus 5 is negative 15x. And now I'm done with the 3x, and I have to do the minus 5. Minus 5 times 3x is negative 15x. I'll write him under his buddy. And minus 5 times minus 5 is a positive 25. He doesn't have any friends to be written under, so I just write him. We're going to add the terms, and that's your answer. How about a, how about a tough one here? We can do it. Use the same principle. A little bit at a time. We'll do the 2x first. Don't forget that's 2x to the 1th. 
So 2x to the 1th times 3x squared is 6x to the 3rd. x to the 1th times x to the 2th. 2x times 5x is 10x squared, the 1 plus 1. And 2x times minus 2 is a minus 4x, and I'm now halfway there. He's done. All i got to do now is the 5. 5 times 3x squared is 15x squared. Now look where you're going to write it. I put him under his buddy. 5 times 5x is 25x. Look where you're going to write it. Put him under his buddy. And 5 times minus 2 is negative 10. He has no friends. Just write it. Let's add them up. And that's your answer, adding up like terms. Note that 10x squared plus 15x squared is 25x squared. Don't confuse multiplication with addition. When you add things, you just get more of the same thing. 10 apples and 15 apples make 25 apples. So that we're going to have 25x squareds there. OK. Won't get any harder than that. I say this calls for action and now. Yes, let's go practice. Dig in.